A mass at point X inside a uniform gravitational field experience a gravitational force of 0 0.2. Wow, look at this diagram. Got gravitational field line and then got force. Wait a second. Why is it sideways? Okay, never mind. It has one joule of GPE. Okay. At position where? X. Alright, so we kind of start here at position X and you already have one joule of energy at that position. The mass is then moved to point Y. So from here, we move all the way to here. What is the new GPE? Okay, so if you find this kind of weird, just have to tilt your head a bit. I know we are used to drawing, you know, human is here, G fuel line is downwards, and then the gravitational force is pointing downwards, right? But we can't really think of that way now because this force, you just need to know it's perpendicular, uh, it's same direction as the field, uh, the G field. So now everything is sideways. There is a force acting on this, in this direction, same direction as the field. And we are saying, Miss, why is the field sideways? Okay, never mind. Let me tell you, this is our planet Earth, right? The field is actually like this one. So if you are in some country near the equator, you are actually sideways. Well, I am also here. La. We are sideways and the field is sideways. So it's really a matter of reference. Just rotate your brain a bit, turn the paper, okay? Anyway, we want to find the new GPE. Let's find the change because we already know we are at one joule at this position here. What's the new one? Okay, let's find the change in energy. The change in energy, you might think, Miss, can we use a uh, change in GP? Can we use mg delta H? Normally, yes, but we don't have enough information because what is the M? Well, you have to do some extra calculations. I had to do 0 0.2 and G, okay, that could work too. But let's try thinking of another method. Let's try to think of the force times distance method. Or more accurately, work done. Force and displacement. We have a displacement that is not exactly aligned with the force. So we are going to resolve the displacement and say, okay, since the force is pointing parallel like this, we will say that our displacement will be mm, this way. This is our displacement of 30 cm. Oh wow, my colors are a bit whack today. Okay, so it's kind of like already resolved. Like, yes, it's not a displacement, but you can resolve it to be here. Or you can find the angle between etc, etc. So this will be a force 0 0.2 times displacement 30 cm. And by the way, since all, your force pull here, but displacement pull actually is a negative. But we won't worry about the negative, we just care about the value for now. So this one will give us a change in energy or work done of 0 0.06. Work done by force. So this one is also known as a change in energy. So is this the answer? 0 0.06 ah? Yeah, we find the answer. Wait, 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 wait. There's no 0 0.06 in the answer. So hold up, hold up. 0 0.06 is the change. You start off at 1 Joule. You end up here. What's the GPE? So 1 Joule, you... You say increase or decrease in GPE? Uh? How do we know? So if you remember, this is a surface of the object, surface of the Earth. If you're near the surface of the Earth, this is a low GPE. If you go very high up, that is a high GPE. But now we tilt everything. So down here will be a low GPE. Then you go up by 0 0.06, you'll be at a higher GPE up here. So we have to add all. So here we can say, okay, therefore the GPE at Y will be 1 Joule at the change increase. So this will give us 1.06 Joules. And that would be our final answer here. Once again, a quick reminder, if you use the mg delta h method, you will get 0 0.06 for the 30 cm change. But that's not the final answer. You want the final GPE up there. So make sure you read the question, think a little bit carefully where it's low GPE to high, and you'll be okay. All right, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.